Hello everybody, this is Mystic Jan. I'm here with your daily tarot card reading for May 5th, 2019. This will not resonate with everybody. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And sometimes these readings take a few days to manifest. So this is from May 5th. Cinco de Mayo! Happy Cinco, Cinco de Mayo! I goofed. I made Mexican food tonight instead of tomorrow. Wasn't even thinking about it. I made enchiladas. Should have waited till tomorrow to make those for Cinco de Mayo. So I guess maybe we'll do tacos or something else tomorrow night. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and get an oracle card. This is from the Black Moon Astrology cards and kind of fitting. I really want a moon deck. Um, moon, there's a moon cycles deck that I definitely want to get. But this is a new moon in Taurus. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to see what comes up here. We're going to get a general energy. Where spirits drawing me. Neptune, sacrifice. So, are you sacrificing yourself or something else? This is a number 10. One is new beginnings, endings, and new beginnings. Um, and Neptune, this is talking about what are you sacrificing in your life? I feel that somebody is putting everybody else's needs before their own. You're sacrificing yourself. Somebody's sacrificing themselves, I feel. But we are going to get dig into the tarot and see how it possibly relates, if it does relate. But it just feels like somebody sacrificing themselves. Okay. So we're going to ask the Spirit for guidance on what do we need to know for May 5th, 2019, Cinco de Mayo. Please, what messages do you have for us? I know my table shakes when I shuffle, I apologize. Okay, sacrificing truth maybe. Not seeing the truth. Not wanting to see the truth. Somebody's denying that they're actually sacrificing. <laughs> and this dagger's pointing downwards like it's going to sacrifice something. Somebody is sacrificing the truth. Okay. Somebody is not seeing the truth or there's some or there's truths that have that are not being told. It could also be a very sharp tongue. Okay, somebody could be hit this could be some hurtful words. Well, let's see what else. Let's see what's in let's see what else comes up. The crossing card will be the advice card, what actions need to be taken. I'm going to do the other four cards around it first. 
so let's see. So somebody is not seeing the truth. We have another ace. Ace of Wands is being underneath it. So this is saying that there's a false start because of all the information is not available. There's been some lies or uh, untruths, things not, somebody not being totally truthful. And this is causing some confusion. And there, and this is saying there's some no growth. This is, and something's got a false start and it's not getting off the ground properly because of some things that are hidden. And the energy coming into this is this is the sun card but it's reversed so there might be a false sense of happiness kind of funny we get three reversed cards in this this is all speaking of false stars false projects untruths I think somebody is um, fake happiness. Some there's def I think there's no passion. Somebody is going into this day faking. That on the outside they are happy, but not on the inside. They're hiding the truth of how they feel. And this is the tower. This is like the tower moment, um, but it's reversed. Somebody is resisting change. Somebody doesn't want to see an ending. Somebody's trying to keep something from crashing down. They're holding on for dear life, okay? And the question is, why are you holding on to something that is false? But I think that they know it's false, but they don't want to face the truth. They're happy on the outside, but they're not on the inside. They're totally faking it, and somebody is not letting go. Sometimes the universe comes in and shakes shit up, okay, to force change. I feel like this crash is inevitable, and somebody's resisting it. And I'm sitting here shuffling, but they're all coming up reverse cards. So there is a lot of delay and a lot of um, a big de delay. Somebody's totally in denial. This is total denial, 100%. And here we have the Queen of Cups reversed. So the Queen of Cups reversed is somebody who has absolutely no control over her emotions. She is totally blinded, or she is, she's not speaking her truth. On one side, you have some happiness, but not complete happiness. You're happy on the outside, but on the inside, you're not complete, 100% content. The sun card reverse is not totally bad, but it's not at its full potential. So there's not, there's uncertainty and not 100% happiness. There is a lack of passion. This is a, this is, and this is in the foundation. This situation and this relationship is built on false pretenses and it's a false start, false foundation. And the truth is pointing down to this false foundation and sacrificing the passion for the sake of trying to hold on. I think somebody's trying to hold on because they're in their comfort zone. Somebody doesn't like change, even though change is inevitable. And energies that are working against you or and what's like coming towards the end of the day is this queen is upside down. I think she's out of emotional control.
She's not really, and, and she's not a queen to be trusted either. Just as I see the Knight of Cups reversed as the player, this is like the female version of that to a point. Um, but I feel there's some truth about this queen that somebody's not facing. Okay. And the advice is this is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is bridging. Okay. The Queen of Swords could be this is this could be a water sign, this could be an air sign. Just saying. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But she is representing the need to take on, and the need to investigate, the need to face the truth. Stop trying to make, some, somebody's trying to make excuses for someone else. Uh, I don't know where that's coming from, but somebody's trying to make excuses to another person's actions. Actions or words. Just saying, somebody's making excuses. There's truths that are being hidden. Involved in the situation. Involved. There's, there's just something that's not sitting right here. And when something's not sitting right, you need to investigate. You need to ask questions. You need to dig for the truth. So the advice that Spirit is giving you is stop denying what is staring you in the face. Face the truth. Stop putting too much emotion into it. Think logically. Think outside the box, I'm being told. If you were the outsider looking in, how would you see the situation? And replace yourself and put your best friend in your place. If your best friend was in the exact situation you're in with the person that they were with, what advice would you give that friend? This is what Spirit is saying. You have to kind of take yourself, step outside, look in. And if it was your friend, what would you tell them? Or your brother, what would you tell them? Okay? And Spirit's saying the same thing to you. From looking outside in, You need to stop denying what is going on. You need to face the music, face the truth, head on and deal with it. The Queen of Swords deals with things fairly, but logically. She has she handles the sword of truth. She 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 has the ace of swords in her hand. So it's like getting the Ace of Swords again with the Queen and saying you take on that energy and you dig for the truth. There's a different, and she's about balance and fairness. There's a, definitely an imbalance here. Okay. And we have the Eight of Swords. So, for whatever reason, you're feel, feeling boxed in. You're feeling trapped in. It's time you step outside this box. You, Time to take off that blindfold. You are in a mental prison. You can't even see the light. You can't even see the sun. Because you've got a blindfold on. You've got these swords around you. You can't see your way out because you're blindfolded. You're blindfolded because you don't want to look at the reality. Somebody doesn't want to face reality. And I know some people are not going to like this reading. 
because Spirit's calling him out and telling him it's time you face reality. Okay, this is a reality check. Okay, this is a reality check to know who you're really dealing with. You're dealing with somebody who lacks integrity. You're dealing with somebody who... She, this person does not have any control over their emotions. And I feel like their emotions get the best of them and cause them to react in certain ways they shouldn't and cause them to do things. The, and this, this woman is like... Um, she's unethical. Another side of this woman is she could be faking her emotions. You know when I said there's no passion left? Somebody's faking. Well, this person could be faking. Because they have... I, I'm feeling ulterior motives. Sorry, that's what I'm feeling. And you're in this mental entrapment where you can't see the light. If you really wanted to escape, you could. your hands are free. You can remove the blindfold and see that there you can get out. There is a way out. There's you're really not truly trapped. That is all mental. Okay. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna stay stuck and keep the blindfold on? Not face reality, not face the truth. Go on believing a lie? Or are you going to fit or are you going to face reality? And that tower card, this is a tower moment that's about ready to happen. And this queen is gonna lose her cool. Okay. Um this queen loses her cool. Part of it's about control. Okay, but you're resisting that tower moment because you're trying to hold on. You're not letting the pieces fall where they may. The tower is about a re about a re reality check. It really is. So, this is what I have for you. Like I said, spirit is saying. You need to investigate before you get any deeper. Take off the freaking blindfold. Stop blocking yourself mentally. Take off the blindfold. And really investigate the truth before you get in too deep. Okay, so um, I hope this helps somebody. Uh, the sa And this ties in with the sacrifice. You're sacrificing yourself. You're sacrificing yourself because you won't see the truth. You're sacrificing true happiness. Just saying. Okay. Well, please do give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Leave a comment. If you like a personal reading, please do see the description box below. And I will see you next time.